Welcome everybody, what's up? It's your girl Merle, and today we're gonna be doing another ranking video. Today is a pretty special one because we're gonna be doing a Trader Joe's ranking, specifically their frozen vegan food. I have done countless ranking videos and there's still so many to do, but this one's at the top of my list because I think it's gonna be really fun and I think I could hopefully show you guys some really great vegan Trader Joe's options and then which ones you don't need to bother with, at least by my taste. Now, there's so many Trader Joe's vegan things that I can't do all of them at once, but this one's gonna be like their meals, right? Like their frozen meals. I even have like a one or two refrigerated meals, like the ravioli in here too. So I tried to include as much as I possibly could because this otherwise would go on for like an hour. And I'm really excited about it. I think it's gonna be great. We're gonna have a good old time. Honestly, I'm not a big Trader Joe's person, nothing against them. So I haven't had most of these things. Like most of these are totally foreign and new to me, which is really exciting. Cause I'm, I can't wait to try a bunch of new foods. So if you're new to my ranking videos, this is how it goes. We're gonna be doing the S, A, B, C, D, F tier ranking list for this. S being like super amazing, we love, we stand, let's go. A being like, that was really, really, really good. Like, I like that a lot. I'll probably have that again. B being like, that was good. Don't know if I ever need to have it again, but if I did, I wouldn't be mad at it. C being like, eh. It was fine. I probably could have just made myself something better. D being like, that wasn't good. I'm not interested in ever entertaining this again. And F for the vegans have gone too far. Trader Joe vegans have gone too far. Hoping I can eat all this stuff in one day, in one sitting. And don't worry, in advance, I just wanna say, I'll be saving all the leftovers. I will be throwing them away. Yeah, my freezer is absolutely jam-packed right now, like to the brim, to the point where it might actually be affecting my fridge. But wait, before we do, let's say a quick thanks to today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Green Chef. Burr, burr, burr. Green Chef has CCOF certified organic meals for every lifestyle. Keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, gluten-free. Green Chef is also a certified sustainability queen. They offset 100% of delivery emissions to your door and 100% of the plastics in every box. Burr, burr, burr. I legit learned so many new recipes through Green Chef because they are constantly rotating the dishes out. So there's something new every single week. So you don't get bored. I've even introduced my grandfather to Green Chef so that he can get healthy meals that are convenient to make and they're already planned out and delivered right to his door. And here we are. It is beautiful, it's super healthy and delicious. So what are you waiting for? Use my code MERLE60 to get 60% off and free shipping. The link is right there in my description. Go to greenchef.com for more details. All right, back to the video. All right, so I got my trusty laptop here because I need to keep track of each thing. It is currently 11.30 a.m. because I know this is gonna take a long time. So what do I wanna eat? What meal do I wanna eat at 11.30 in the morning? Let's see. Ooh, some gnocchi for breakfast. Spring rolls for breakfast. Pizza for breakfast. Pad Thai for breakfast. <laughs> There's so many things, I don't know. Why don't we do a vegetable nest and a spring roll? Now listen, I know there are a lot of you trader hoes out there that know every single item they catalog, you've cataloged it all in your mind, like every single thing they've ever had that they discontinued, blah, blah, blah. I got every vegan thing they have. I even had someone help me find stuff in the shelves, okay? They rotate their dishes a lot. So I got everything they had, everything. And they do rotate so much that maybe we can do another one of these in the future, but I did the best. I got every little damn vegan thing they had that was frozen. Okay, so the first ones I'm gonna try are the vegetable spring rolls. You know what? I might open one of the dipping sauces for the bird's nest and use it for both. I think that's a good idea. Okay, so we've got our first thing to try. It's nice and crispy. It looks good, smells really good. Came with no dipping sauce, but it's okay. Oh, damn. It's fucking good. Holy moly. That is so good. I'm trying it on its own now. It's even pretty good on its own. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. There's little pieces of tofu in there. I'm impressed. You know, it's greasy and probably has tons of sodium, but that also means it tastes really good. <laughs> and I can see the little pieces of edamame and carrot in here. So they're not skimping on like the actual ingredients they claim to use. I'm tempted to dock it for not having the dipping sauce. I would give this A tier. It's very delicious. Spring rolls aren't my favorite thing. I know what you're thinking. What are you talking about? You love spring rolls. You've done a whole video on spring rolls, but this is freaking delicious. It's super greasy. I'm sure if you ate a bunch of these, you probably wouldn't feel very good. I'm gonna give it A. It's very, very good. I would highly recommend. It would be a great appetizer if you have friends over. So these bird's nests need 10 minutes on each side. It's said to preheat the oven to 400 and then turn it down to 350 and then give it 10 minutes on each side. It's an interesting instruction, but oh my God. 
it's already full and it's only the first thing. These vegetable bird's nests, tempura vegetables with soy dipping sauce. Okay, so we've got these little bird nests here. Cute name. You know, they do look like little bird's nests. They kind of look like little hash brown potato pancakes. They crisped up nicely. The instructions were kind of interesting. You had to preheat the oven to 400, then reduce it to 350 and then put them in. These ones came with their own sauce. So they gained points for that. I like the size of these too. They're not too big and it comes with like six of them. Ooh, this is like a mix of potato pancakes, scallion pancakes, and onion rings. Ooh, nice crunch. That's really good. It honestly kind of tastes like the spring rolls. I shouldn't be eating two of these. This is also A. I like these slightly better than the spring rolls. They're just more flavorful on their own. And I think I'm even gonna bump them ahead of the spring rolls. I need to stop eating this. I have so much to eat. But you can see like drops of oil and grease on it. Again, probably gonna make you feel a little certain way after a while, but Again, I'm not eating these frozen foods for my health. That's why this is an A and not an S. Grease lightning! He was supreme. The chicks will creep. Do you ever think about the fact that he says the chicks will creep? And something tasty for you to pop in your mouth. Oh, what is this? That looks delightful. Like a potato, potato pancake, huh? Yummy? I love it. <laughs> is it too greasy or you like it? I like it when it's greasy. What would you rate it S to F? A little under an S. A. An A. That's what I said. It makes me feel better that he said A because I was like, am I being too harsh that I'm not giving these S's because they're really good, but they're just not quite, you gotta, you gotta really, you know when it's an S. You know when it's an S, you know. We have the Trader Joe's fish filet. This one didn't come with like any, you know, tartar sauce or anything like that. Maybe I'm dreaming. Maybe I'm dreaming too big on these things that they provide me with the sauce. I have some lemon. I'll squeeze it over the top and maybe that'll give it even more of a chance. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I've ever had a like vegan fish filet, so this should be interesting. I'm wondering if like all of their things are just gonna end up tasting like themselves. <laughs> Let's squeeze a little lemon juice over the top. People love doing that in cooking videos. Wow, they really did something here. It looks pretty flaky, like fish. I was expecting it to be kind of like a, just like a blob or like a patty. Nope, I'm not crazy about that at all. It looks pretty good. It's mushy on the inside. This definitely falls in the fried stuff category, but I don't even totally like the breading. And it doesn't really taste fishy, it just tastes weird. I'm not a fan of this one. It's so greasy as well. Looks like we got another case of grease lightning. Honestly, I'm between a C and a D for this one. I'm gonna give it a D. I really don't like this one. This is just mushy in the middle, and then the breading's like not super flavorful, so D. Next. Okay, so next up we've got the gnocchi, the cauliflower gnocchi. This is a vegan and gluten-free option. These look fantastic. I've never had cauliflower gnocchi. They got nice and crisp, and they look really pillowy on the inside. They just look real good. So I'm gonna try one of these guys on their own, and then I'm gonna try them with a little bit of sauce, because that's how I would normally eat it. Ah, so hot. I can't beat around the bush. This tastes just like cauliflower. So let's add a little sauce. Okay, now they're covered in sauce. Like I said, they got nice and crispy on the outside. Very soft and delicate on the inside. Still kind of tastes like cauliflower, but I really like the texture. Let me add a little salt because gnocchi is like one of my favorite things ever. So I thought this was gonna be like an easy W. It doesn't have a whole lot of flavor on its own other than cauliflower. Did I mention that it tastes like cauliflower? I'd eat it. It's a little gummy. I think I'm gonna give them a B because they don't have a whole lot of flavor on their own. It's very overwhelmingly cauliflower-y. I almost wish they would have just done potato. I get it, it's like supposed to be a healthier version. Cauliflower is a very strong flavor. So it's like, you kind of can't miss it. Am I gonna go out of my way to get it? Probably not. I know I'm gonna wage a war out there with the trader hose, but that's fine. Now this next one, the real ones are gonna recognize. This is the Trader Joe's vegan pizza, the meat lovers pizza. I actually have ranked this one before in my vegan pizza ranking. I genuinely do not remember where this fell in my ranking because that was like over a year ago. The pepperoni looks freaking good. The pepperoni looks legit. The sausage toppings look legit. The cheese didn't totally melt. Mmm, that's good. Even though the cheese didn't melt, it tastes nice. Seasoning is nice on the sausage, pepperoni, has no real bite to it, but the flavor is very good. Pretty spot on with the flavor. I think the thing I'm not crazy about is the tomato sauce on this. I'm a saucy gal, y'all. I love tomato sauce. I'll drink tomato sauce. I'll give it an A, because everything else is pretty spot on. 
Gotta work on that sauce, TJ. Next up we have the beefless bulgogi. They give me option to like put it in the oven, which just seems like an insane thing to do. Putting this on a baking sheet just seems insane to me. So I'm gonna use the method of cooking it up in the pan. All right, so next up we have the beefless bulgogi. It looks really good, it only took like four minutes to heat up. When I saw that it said it had three servings, I was like, please. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, actually, no, that would be good with rice. You could definitely stretch this out to three. Ooh, damn. I like that a lot. Holy shit. The seasoning is really good. It, they didn't overdo it with the sauce. It's not too sweet, but it is delicious. I think if you're looking to cut back on red meat or beef, you'd be very happy with this. Tossed over some rice with some veggies. This is fire. This is really good. I think we have our first S tier, y'all. I'm a huge fan of this. That is really, really good. I want to eat all of this right now. Highly recommend. S. Yes, would you like to try it? Not very good. Right? Yummy? Might be this. Nice. Yeah, I think so too. He loves it. Look at that. We're aligned on these. All right. Well, that was a success. On to the next. And now we've got this green Thai curry bowl. And it says it has tofu sheets, vegetables, and jasmine rice. Tofu sheets? See, this is already giving me another idea of how to use Yuba. Now this is the dish that the person who checked me out at Trader Joe's, when I told him, he's like, oh, you're trying all the vegan stuff, huh? And I was like, yeah, I'm doing a ranking video. He goes, oh, you have to have the green curry bowl. It's restaurant quality. Oh, baby, let's get a little bit of everything. Oh, she's hot. <laughs> oh my God. I love spice, but I didn't see that coming. This is no joke. This is delicious. He wasn't lying. This really does taste like a restaurant quality dish. If I ordered this at a restaurant, very pleased. I don't know why the first bite tasted so spicy. The rest of it doesn't taste as spicy. I gotta stop. Oh boy. This could be S. Oh, oh God, God, no, the Libra, Libra is coming, coming out. out. I mean, the, the Libra, Libra, the Libra, not the Libra. 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 Fight it away, Libra. Libra. Don't be a Libra. Libra. It's like, Complex in flavor. I love Indian food. This is S, I think. It doesn't taste like a frozen meal at all. He was right. I dig it, period, S. Highly recommend, S tier. Stop talking before you get indecisive again. Stop talking. Next. Okay, this next one is the Mandarin Morsels. For some reason, it reminds me of the cartoon Hercules movie. Someone says morsels in that movie, right? I cooked a comically small amount of these. They look like little turds. Little tiny morsel. I swear to God, Hades says something about morsels. All right, these mandarin morsels look dry as hell. It's said to do nine minutes on both sides. That's a lot. That can't be right. It's so dry, I can't even taste it. Oh, I didn't have the sauce. Ooh, I don't like it that I can't like reseal this. <laughs> Oh, these ranking videos always make a mess of my kitchen. They've got their sauce now. A lot better with the sauce. Still very dry though. The sauce is great. The sauce makes them really good though. Maybe I'll make one more and see what it's like. I'm gonna try these at nine minutes and see if that helps things. Okay, I just cooked this for half the time it said, and I'm gonna try it now. That's a lot better. That's a lot better. The vegan chicken they used is not that great. It has like a little bit of synthetic aftertaste. And I know you're gonna be like, oh, of course it's synthetic because it's vegan. But no, vegan nuggets have gotten really good. I'm gonna give these a B. They're good. The cooking instructions are crazy. Just do it for like 425 for like nine to 11 minutes and you'd be way better off. I don't think I'd buy them again. Okay, so this time we have the Trader Joe's Masala Burger. And I believe I tried this one when we did the veggie burger ranking. So here's another one that I've done. But again, that was also like over a year ago. So I really don't remember how I felt about this one. I think I liked it. Just by looking at it, I feel like I would cause there's like whole pieces of vegetables in there, which is bonus points for me. Let's try it. It got nice and crispy on the outside. Oh baby, there's so much oil. I can literally see it already. But that doesn't mean it's not good. Mm. It's kind of giving like samosa vibes. It's definitely tasty. The texture is good. It's honestly starting to fall into the same category as like the vegetable nest and the spring roll. Grease lightning! And they all kind of hit that similar flavor profile in a, in a weird way, even though they're all like different cuisines. I think I'd probably give this one a B. It's not my favorite. I just don't think I'd go out of my way to get it again. It's almost an A, because it is good. I think I'm gonna give it a B. The next day. Okay, it's a new day and my stomach's empty. I simply could not eat all of these in one sitting. I was just not going to be well. And I also didn't want it to impact my reviews of the later taste tests because you know, when you're full, things don't taste quite as good as when you're absolutely ravenous. So our next one is the rice cauliflower bowl. Now our dear friend, Rachel Gajewski, you know the one. 
She recommended this one. She's like, you gotta try this rice cauliflower bowl. She's a certified Trader Ho. I trust her opinion. So, all right, so there's one serving. Oh no, two servings. I don't know about that. Damn, they really want this thing freaking steaming. It looks good. Still a little suspicious about the two servings, but we'll see. Family size mac and cheese. I am the family. All right, Rachel, you're not gonna let us down, are you? I'm not gonna lie, this is not like really blowing me away. I mean, it's not bad. It's just like, when I'm hungry, I don't think I'll reach for this. Maybe it's a nice, healthy meal. You know, it's not loaded up with grease. It's just fine. Like, it's all right. It's good. I think I could have more seasoning. Like, to the point where I'm generally wondering right now, like, is there something wrong with my taste buds? That's how little flavor I'm tasting in this. I'm gonna give this one like a B. It's good. It's fine. It's nothing to write home about. It almost is a C, honestly. I'm gonna give it a C. So our next one is not technically frozen, but I thought it should be able to join in on the fun. And I saw a lot of people requesting it. So this next one is the spinach cashew ricotta ravioli, which I saw a ton of people requesting when I did my shout out on my Instagram. So I love ravioli. Ravioli is a uh, staple to me. I love it. Nostalgic, had it all the time growing up. The one thing I will say is that I, I boiled it as the instructions requested and one of the ravioli split open, which is a ravioli fowl. Ravioli, ravioli, ravioli give, give me, me the ravioli. Right, I'm gonna try one without the sauce on it and then I'll try one with, ooh, that's nice. Ooh, that's good. That's good on its own. Of course there's bias in these ranking videos. I'm gonna choose ravioli over a cauliflower rice bowl. Cause I love ravioli. So I can only give you the best opinion I've got to offer. I think this might be an S tier for me. And it reminded me that my to my flavor tasters, my fla my taste buds, <laughs> my flavor tasters, this is an S. The, ra the ravioli is an S for me, even though it had a ravioli fowl. All right, well that's settled. So relieved to know that my taster flavor, flavor tasters are working. Now we've got the pad thai, the vegan pad thai. It felt truly wrong to eat it with a fork, so I got my sharp steaks and uh, let's give her a go. I was fortunate enough to be able to go to Thailand and have pad thai there, so uh, I might be a tough critic, or I might not. <laughs> That's pretty good. The noodles maintained their chewiness, got a good a healthy amount of bean sprouts in here. This is good. I think I'd be happy with this if I was like, come back after a long night. It's not as good as the pad thai I'm able to get in Thai town in LA, but it's frozen pad thai. So I think I'll give it an A. That's very good. It's almost an S actually, the more I'm eating it. I need to ask Arya. Arya lived in Thailand when he was younger and he also loves pad thai. So I feel like it's just to help break up the A or the S. That means you like it. Since it's microwaved, I think there are some bits that are a little burnt. I, overall, it doesn't taste vegan at all. Well, genuinely, I, I like this a lot. A I'm or S? S I reserve always for the very best. Yeah, this I is think an a. A. This, is, this is an A. This is wow, an a. we are very good though. Aligned. A for yeah, align. Um, you can have the rest. I'm in the middle of preparing the next meal, and Arya said, "Are you recording?" She needed to record this. Case. As I was finishing it up, I'm gonna lower this down to maybe a B, just because there's some elements that are just like not as flavorful. This is a bit soggy, but yeah, this is like I'm not gonna finish the rest. This is just. We'll give it a B plus. All right, so our last two dishes are two Italian dishes. It's a pasta bolognese with vegan beef crumbles and mushroom and red lentil pasta. So it looks good, smells great. I definitely had a bunch of people recommend this one to me, so I'm optimistic about it. I find that a lot of time chickpea pasta doesn't really do it for me. Hmm, the red lentil pasta honestly isn't really doing it for me. It's very chewy. And we know how important sauce is to me. This sauce is good, it's not great. I'm gonna give it either a B or a C. I'll give it a B. I don't know what to do with it. I'll give it a B. I'll give it a B. It's good. It's nothing special. It's almost a C. I wouldn't go out of my way to get this personally. I know a lot of people like it. It's amazing it's a gluten-free option. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this one because I think a lot of people love this one. We've got one more left. You have no idea how excited I am to be done with this. There's so much food in such a short span of time. My audio cut out at some point there. Sorry about that. What we've got here is a pasta arrabbiata or a pasta arrabbiata, or probably neither of those, but I tried my best. I think it looks good. It turned me off initially because it was like frozen in a bag with the pasta was frozen and there these like cubes, rectangular cubes of frozen pasta sauce. But hey, you know what? I put it in the skillet. I added a little water and bip bam, big bam, bam. Let's see how this sauce tastes because that's what this is riding on. 
Ooh, I like that sauce. I like that sauce a lot. Whatever tomatoes they're using for these ones are better than those ones. That is yummy. Pasta is perfectly cooked. Damn, I'm impressed by this. The sauce is so freaking good though. I just want to drink this freaking sauce. And it's got a little spice to it, a little kick to it. See, somebody knew what they were doing when they did this one. Maybe the cubes are the way to go. I'm tempted to give this one S, but it feels like such a simple thing. I'm gonna just get Arya's opinion quickly because this is the last one, I wanna do it right. I wanna see if it blows him away like it blows me away, but I'm just like a sauce slut. Isn't that really it nice? It definitely tastes homemade in the sense that uh, anyone could make it because I don't think it's that great. Oh my God, what? The, the sauce is sauce. so good though. I am giving it an A. I'm giving oh, it an A. Hey. I like it. I like it a lot. I see a whole she chunk thinks. of tomato. Look at the chunk of tomato right there. Ari's crazy. I'm eating this whole dang bag of pasta. Okay, so I usually do final thoughts after my ranking videos, and I didn't do that for this one, but I've been thinking about it, and there are a couple things I'd like to move around after having tasted everything. One of which is the vegetable spring rolls. I think those need to move down from an A to a B, just simply because they don't stand out as an A for me And after I've tried everything. And then the mandarin chicken, I think I was too generous giving it a B. The actual chicken nugget itself didn't really taste like a chicken nugget. It tasted like a fake chicken nugget. It gave more imposter among us, if anything. And then the pasta bowl and yace, honestly, after I ate the arabiata, I have to move that from a C to a D. It wasn't very good. I didn't like the red lentil pasta. The sauce wasn't great. I'm really tempted to move the arabiata yeah. from an A to an S, but I, like I don't think I will just because it's so simple, but just know it's like an S in my heart. It's so delicious. And Arya ranked it at like a D or something which is ridiculous. He does clearly has no taste. Unless he's agreeing with me, then he does. That's it. All right, well, that was fun. We tested all of the frozen and a, a non-frozen thing that can be frozen, so it does count. That was a lot of food. I'm glad I broke it up between two days. I'm sure you'll let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you agree with, disagree with. Let me know how wrong Arya is about this pasta. But in the meantime, let me know what other rankings you'd like me to do. Uh, we can do other Trader Joe rankings. You wanna do snacks, you wanna do dips, you wanna do whatever you wanna do. I'm down. I've gotten a lot of requests for vegan cream cheese, so I do see you and hear you. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It helps more than you know. And if you wanna hang out with me between videos, I have a Discord I'm on almost every single day, and I also stream on Twitch two to three times a week. My TikTok and Instagram is where you can DM me to let me know what recipes you want me to try next. And in the meantime, I hope you have a beautiful day, and I bid you adieu. Mwah.